Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is a cleaning video, which are one of my favorite ones to do. Um, and it's one of the things that I have to do all the time in my house because we live in it. So I am cleaning the kitchen today. As always, this is the messiest room in the house. Um, this and the living room now because we have a baby. So there's baby toys everywhere. So um, I think today I'm just going to focus on the kitchen. I have some dishes to do. I have to clean off um, our kitchen table because it is a huge mess. And I'm even thinking about cleaning out and organizing the pantry today. Um, so we put the baby down for the night. It is about 8.15. So I want to bang out the cleaning um like the cleaning part of it and, and i really want to focus on the pantry because it is a huge mess and um i've lived in this house for a year now and that is how it was when we moved in like we just stuffed things in there and we were like oh we'll do it later and it's been a year so i want to get to that today so i'm hoping to be done before 10 um so that'll give me about two hours um i don't want to go past 10 because today is uh tuesday and i gotta go to work tomorrow so um i don't want this to take too long but yeah so if you like these kinds of videos and you enjoy watching them here on my channel don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe um it really helps me out and you get notified whenever i post a new video which is every friday so come back every friday for an updated new video so um i'm done rambling and let's get to cleaning
I wanted to show really quickly what the pantry looks like right now. It is a huge mess. Um, everything's kind of just thrown in here. So that is the top shelf up there. Um, and actually Derek started kind of decluttering that the other day. Um, but it was, it was way worse than it is now. So then I have that second shelf full of junk, third shelf full of junk, last shelf full of junk, and then the floor is also full of junk. So I wanted to show kind of the before. Um, there is no rhyme or reason to everything. It's just thrown in there. So I'm going to go in and just take everything out, throw away things that need to be thrown out. I guarantee there are many things that are expired in here. So I'm going to go through and clean it all out. I'm going to wipe down the shelves and then I'm going to reorganize things so that it is easier to find things because this is a huge mess and I'm so over it. So I'm going to get started. everything out of the pantry and I wiped it down I swept the floor and now everything is just all over the place so there's a ton of stuff on the counter there's a ton of stuff on this table so what I'm gonna do is I am gonna go through and get rid of stuff that needs to be thrown out I think I'm not gonna be able to donate anything because we don't have that much stuff and I guarantee most of the stuff is expired <laughs> So I'm just going to throw out what I need to throw out so then I could organize um, the pantry and put everything back that needs to go back and not keep stuff that we're not going to use. So let's get into it. So I am basically done reorganizing this. I do want to get uh, some baskets and a few organizational tools um, to better organize a little bit because it's still kind of just like thrown in here, but it's a lot more organized and I got rid of all the junk. So I'm going to go through and show you guys what I um, put and where. So up there in that corner, I have um, clothes bags of chips. And then an open one with a little clip. I have some animal crackers and cereal. Um, we do need to go to the grocery store. Kind of stock up on a few things. But I'm going to put all the cereal boxes up there. So that's why I left that empty. And then over here I have a box of ramen noodles. And then all the way back there I have some uh, 
extra thing so I have some chocolate syrup and behind that I have ketchup bottles so extra things that we don't really need uh, right away I'm just gonna put up at the top where you know we don't need to reach all the time for and then up there I do have um, a couple bags of candy left over from a mom's birthday party so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that um, I know it's gonna go bad if I don't do something with it quick but I might just take it to work or something I don't know but for now they're up there so that's what I have on the top shelf so then on the second shelf which is kind of at my eye level I have things that I use um, more often so I have all kinds of spices back there and then I organize them by the tall bottles and then the smaller bottles up front um, and then right next to that I have a couple things of vanilla extract uh, some saw, uh, coconut oil, some sasong back there, some little cubes, um, some of these things that are open so I have a little bit of corn syrup, some pancake syrup, an open thing of chocolate syrup, and then I have a couple cans of, um, of this stuff. So this is like spray coconut oil, and then this is just regular Pam. I have a few of my k-cups and then all the way in this corner I have some flour in this container and some cornstarch and then I just put the um I put some of the pasta that we had back there standing up so it's not taking so much room and um the shelf looks pretty good definitely room to grow um and yeah so that one's looking pretty good I do want to get some kind of um storage system for the all the spices over there but uh, for the most part it looks pretty good so on the third shelf which is at like my arm level um, I have uh, sweets and things back there so I have um, an, uh, an extra thing of sugar I have some brownie mix back here some uh, cornbread mix um, some chocolate chips some hot chocolate packets some popcorn so like just snacky type things um, some sprinkles a little mold I just stuck that back there because I don't know what to do with it um, it's like a little chocolate mold and then some of Derek's crackers and some little bars and then in the middle here I have more of a breakfast area so cornmeal um, oatmeal um, some tang back there, some more oatmeal, some more oatmeal. This is like almost empty, so I have this one. I think I'm just going to fill this container up with that oatmeal. And then some Bisquick. And then all the way in this corner, I have a couple packets of instant mashed potatoes, like flavored, and then just plain mashed potatoes um, in that jar. I haven't used that in a while, but I just thought I'd leave it there. So this shelf is also looking pretty good. Um, I do want to get some baskets or something for the like the sweets and the snacky things that are back there so it's kind of like all together in one spot um but for now it looks okay and then the last shelf i have decided to put canned goods down here so as of right now we don't have too much stuff like i said i have to go to the grocery store but um all the way in the back i have some um mac and cheese that is Derek's and we got a big giant box of it at Costco so um, we have a bunch of those that's why those are there some peanut butter and then back there we also have some tuna which we also got at Costco that's where we have so many of those we have some corn um, I have one thing of kidney beans some refried beans some um, tomato sauce some oh man corned beef some uh, Chef Boyardee and a few uh, cans of, um, what are these called in English? These are these things. I can't think of the English name for them, but they're salchichas. They're the Carmela brand, uh, which is really good. And I like to um, eat them by themselves or with crackers. And sometimes I like to um, make rice with salchichas, which is delicious so I have a few of those so I have a few of those in there and then so for this side I decided to make it um, the baby shelf so I have some little crackers for her um, so little puffs little yogurt bites and her juice so I do need to go again like I said I need to go shopping so that's gonna be filled with like her snacks and her um, juices and stuff like that but um, yeah so then the last couple of things I have is my mortar and pestle and a really old can of 
formula that I might have to give away because it's really good. Um, it's not that old. It's just from like a couple months ago, but Amara doesn't drink formula anymore since she turned one. So that's what I have on the last shelf. And then lastly, on the floor, I just have my um, instant pot, which is like a pressure cooker, my crock pot, and a big thing of uh, vinegar. So yes, I cleaned out the bottom and that is everything that I have in here. So that is going to be it for this kitchen cleaning and pantry clean out video. Um, I've been really meaning to get to the pantry and it literally took me a year. So I'm glad I got to it, cleaned it all out, got it ready for um, my shopping trips and just made it a little bit easier to find things. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my videos i post every friday and in december you're gonna get a treat so i'm actually gonna start vlogmas around thanksgiving i'm still gonna call it vlogmas because that's just what i like to call it but it's basically like vloggity so i'm gonna start with thanksgiving and go through christmas and new year's and i'm gonna post i'm gonna try to post every day in december but you know life happens so um no matter what i'm gonna be posting all my days it might be a little bit late but it'll be great nonetheless so if you do want to stay tuned for those don't forget to subscribe and if you hit the little notification bell it'll just send you notifications whatever i post but with all that said thank you guys for watching and i will see you in my next one bye by the way it is 10 o'clock so that worked out perfectly i'm gonna go shower and i'm gonna go to bed